Dr. Amato, I came across this problem about alkenes and it's just so challenging. I can't figure it out. I think I'm going to blow my brains out. Do you think you could help me? Come on around and let's have a look. They don't want you to blow your brains out. I just did these carpets and it'll be a mess. So let's take a look at it and see if we can straighten it out for you. What I want to do in this comp in this type of a question is to convert one ring of a small size into a size that's a little bit larger. So I'm going to go from one methyl, two vinyl cyclopropane into one bromo, one bromo methyl, two methyl cyclobutane. Try to say that a few times. What I'm going to first do is I'm going to add the double bond, across the double bond, the bromine. So as you can see, the way the arrows move, this moves this, this moves to here, and we break the bond and we form the bromonium ion. Now, I think the best way to do this problem is to take it out of the bond line and write out all the carbons so you can see it. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna number the carbons just so I can keep track. And that's gonna be the biggest and most important thing for you to solve this problem. Now, in order to make a four-membered ring, I need to do two movements. I'm gonna move this out and I'm gonna connect this bond from carbon three to four. So by doing that, if I connect three to four, this is what it looks like, and it doesn't look pretty. There's my three, three is connected to two, and if I move this bond away, that means this carbon gets the plus charge. There's the connection between three and four, and then when this bond moved out, it gave you the CH2Br. You should stop a minute and make sure you can do that. If you can do that, this problem becomes a piece of cake. Now, I'm going to rewrite this a little prettier. This is one, two, three. It's four carbons. There's my four carbon box. Number three is the carbon with the methyl. There's the CH2. The carbon with the plus charge was number one. There was my number four. There's the H. There's the CH2Br, and it's all numbered. This is a secondary carbocation. What I've done now is do a shift of a hydride ion. This is a hydride shift, and that'll put the plus charge here at number four. Now that it's a tertiary carbocation, we've improved the stability. The Br minus comes in, attacks, and finishes off the job to give me my desired product. This is a really good problem to give you insight that many times when you have a double bond on the outside of a three or a four membered ring, you often get these things called ring expansion. And the ring expansion will decrease the amount of ring strain in the molecule and lower its energy. All right, I hope this helps. And you got a good understanding now of how to go about a problem that has a high degree of difficulty.